Technological competition between NATO and the Warsaw Pact makes certain that fighter aircraft will continue to evolve in the future. This sleek new Soviet fighter, the MiG-29 Fulcrum, is the latest entry in the duel between the superpowers for air supremacy. The MiG-29 embodies the whole spectrum of advanced technologies found in the fighter planes of the 1980s. Computers, composite materials, radar-guided missiles, and electronic warfare devices. At the moment, a new generation of fighter aircraft is on the drawing boards. The new fighters are likely to incorporate exotic features such as stealth technology to make them electronically invisible to radar. The noted defense analyst, Dr. Norman Friedman, speculates on the forms these advances will take. There's several new technologies that you have to take into account for fighters. Uh, obviously, one is stealth. Uh, clearly, since no one knows exactly, no one who can speak about it knows exactly what stealth is, there's a question as to whether it's applicable to a very high-performance airplane. If it is, obviously it's very attractive. If it's not, you may have two categories, one of a very stealthy but relatively low-performance airplane, say a reconnaissance airplane that gets in and out without being seen, the other a very high-performance airplane that can survive in a dogfight. Remember that no matter how stealthy you get, you can still be seen by someone by, by his eyeballs, so that you, you may still want high performance. Now, the other main themes, I would think, are increasing maneuverability through a fly-by-wire, um, having an airplane which can intelligently maneuver itself, which you, you would expect very soon, so that it can exceed the, the limits imposed by the body of its pilot. Uh, if you're willing to black out while the thing makes a very tight turn because it knows it will recover, that, that should make a difference. Predicting the future of fighter aircraft is a risky business. Few things seem certain. The fighter of the future is likely to be faster, more maneuverable, more electronically sophisticated, and more lethal. And for the short term at least, it will be piloted by humans. The near future is still classified. The future is science fiction.